my project is on when Jeremy Mentham. And he was an English philosopher born in 1748, died in 1832, which he lived to be extremely old, given the time period. And he was influenced by people like John Watt, David Hume, Hobbes, Beccaria, and even Voltaire. And he basically started out as a lawyer. And then when he took his bar, he became a lawyer for a year. And then during that year, he discovered kind of the principle of utility, which was also known as utilitarian, utilitarian, utilitarianism. And also, within that time period, he discovered the works of Hume and Beccaria, which he was able to take elements and associate to the principle of utility. And then after he discovered all this stuff, he shifted his career path from being a lawyer to wanting to do law reforms and focusing on political improvements. He focused primarily on the theory of utilitarianism, and that theory focused on actions based off consequences. So what he was saying was if an action caused you pleasure or happiness, it was a good action, it was right. But if the action caused pain or unhappiness, then the action was just totally wrong. And he believed that individuals knew what was best for themselves and that people should kind of support that. Some of his works were like the rationale of judicial evidence. What he did there was he gave tactics to courts on how to gather the truth the fastest and then he had an essay called essay on political tactics and it suggested forms of efficient debate for legislators in 1789 he wrote an introduction to the principles of morals and legislation in here he defined the principle of utility as quote that property in any object whereby it tends to produce pleasure, good, or happiness, or to prevent the happening of mischief, pain, evil, or unhappiness to the party whose interest is considered. And that basically meant that human nature had two parts that it was governed by. It was governed by pain and pleasure, which became known as political radicalism. And that's where him and a few other people got together and came up with the idea of the most good for the most people. And this girl about his idea that punishment is evil. So the only way that evil should, punishment should be used since it was evil was that if it was used to combat a greater form of evil. And he had, he had some crit criticism but these people also kind of liked what he was doing and some other things. So they didn't absolutely were so against Bentham. They just had some thoughts. And one of them was Benjamin Constant. And he just thought that his idea of utility was way too vague. And he also thought that it endangered the principle of policy. And then a lot of critics, it was a few of them, so I didn't name them specifically, thought that Bentham kind of dumbed down and generalized law. And that he thought the human mind was too simplistic and made it too robotic. He influenced people like John, John Stuart Mill and John Austin. He didn't accomplish much trying to reform politicians and officials and all that. 
And after all this, he became the founder of the West, Westminster Review and used that platform to split, spread that political radicalism that we were talking about. And something I just kind of thought was interesting, so I thought I'd just throw it in there, is when he died, he got his friends together and they, but his friends didn't do it, they were just there. They dissected his body and then put his skeleton back together, made him a, mummified his head and then made him a wax head and dressed his skeleton in his clothes. And now the wax head, his skeleton and his clothes is on display in a college in London.